Well, let's increase the volume. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We're in the space room this morning on Encounters, a show that's out of this world. Encounters, your host, Commander Alian. We'll be on here till 10.15 in the morning on the East Coast. It's now about uh, 8.56 a.m. Good to have you all with us. Spontaneously on here. If you were on last night, we uh, recorded that show. It's now on our YouTube channel and on Facebook. Uh, the show from last night. Hello, everybody. Pete Starr, good to have you with us, brother. Baby Doll, uh, today. All the new people, Chesno, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Brian Hughes. Fast and Furious and Curious, thank you. Uh, you ought to do a show to talk about ghosts. Think a cap. Maybe. Um, really focus more on the cosmic UFO ET area. Maybe. I mean, people have come on here and shared some stories, um, but I, uh, there's definitely maybe room for that in the future. We'll have to meditate on that. Lion, uh, 19, Leah, let's see here, 1995, greetings. Mr. B, thanks for liking the live. JJZ, good to have you with us. <coughs> I have some sitar music in the space room going here. So we're in the space room. Where all the crystals are, everything is here. And we're just going to enjoy the morning. You know, um, could be, think, could be, you never know. JJ, AB, welcome to the show. AB, all the new people Frank, Napoli, Grant Farley, Kevin Graff, Dion, uh, welcome to our show, Encounters. We're normally late night. Handy J, good to have you with us. Normally late night. Lynn Lightworker, good to have you with us. And we're usually uh, late night, uh, usually 10, 30, 11 o'clock, 11, 15 or whatever. Bonnie says, you know, we have crystals in our body. And welcome everybody coming in here. Uh, please uh, share and like. We appreciate everybody, uh, Ivan, uh, welcome, Carrie Johnson, 691, Donna McMullen, uh, I think it's Riff, J, I can't, these names, Dr. Paul, I'm trying to catch all these names here, Mike Connor Jr., Fox Glove Fairies, Dean, welcome everybody coming here, thank you for coming into the show, Henderson, welcome to our show, Mitzi, uh, this is Encounters, Maripol, Julian Starseed, that's a good name, user 550. <clears throat> Larry Humphreys, welcome to our show. Nana Banana, that's a good name. Karen, uh, welcome to our show, Encounters. So we try to acknowledge everybody here. If I don't catch you all, good morning, uh, Maripo. Good to have you with us here on Encounters. And if you're not used to this show, this is the most talked about UFO talk show on social media. <clears throat> I'm your host, Commander Alian. I'm also on WESU radio for 20 years, doing the Ashtar Command radio show dedicated to the Ashtar Command, and it's called the Cosmic Eye Ashtar Command Radio. Uh, you're in Virginia. Good to have you from Virginia. Uh, let's see here. Dolly, welcome to the show. I'm missing Brian Hughes. Welcome to the show. A S something J N T four. Tina, welcome to our show. Encounters Yolanda. Uh, Cheryl, welcome to our show. Encounters Bird Hunt ten. Uh, Ant one user two five zero. Thank you for joining us. Tiffany Joe. Uh, Kristen, I think it is Eva. Uh, G Benali, welcome to our show, folks. This is Encounters Joseph. Encounters the, the early morning edition, Shauna, Jamie, uh, Dwayne, all these wonderful new people coming in here. Monique, welcome to our show, Encounters. This is not a show like on any other TikTok you've seen. All those other TikToks debate each other, hit each other over the head, talk over each other. They're not even a show. They're just TikTokers doing their thing. Here, we're doing a very uh, focused 
talk show. And that is our concept. It's been that concept. I took my radio show, which I still do. And I said, why don't I do a talk show on TV, on TikTok, and bring my radio concept here? I did that starting last year. And I do different things. This is one of the main things I do. I'm also, uh, I periodically will do what we call cosmic healings on here, separately from this. And I'll be probably doing some of those in the morning. Um, I haven't done them enough, but I do a lot of different things. I'm multidimensional in my creativity here. Steve, good to have you with us. Good morning, Sean. Uh, about damn time, Sean says. <laughs> Gam, welcome to the show. Michael, Pamela, Michelle, welcome to our show. Everybody, oh, uh, Peppa, I think it's Peppa. Yes, good to have you all with us. Fella, thanks for joining us. Honest to Beauty. Honest to Beauty. That's a great name. Unbothered Norman something. I'm trying to catch all the names. So this is Encounters, the UFO talk show here on TikTok. You can also listen to me on Sunday mornings on WESU Live, which I also simulcast here on TikTok, Sunday mornings, 1130 to 1. So what we like to do here (coughs) is really get into interviewing people about the latest UFO sightings they're having where they live, uh, visitations by extraterrestrial intelligence, and also we talk about disclosure as we have updates. We will share that here. Okay, just so people who are new have a background of what we do here. You know, so we don't have 10 people on here yelling over each other. We just don't do that. You know, there's tons of other places and it goes nowhere. It's a waste of energy and no one gets anywhere with it. So... We're strictly in the UFO talk show mode. And it's not just a nuts and bolts show. We get into the spiritual aspects. You know, anyone can have a sighting, but what's going on with that sighting? Who are the intelligences behind those spaceships or those UAPs or UFOs? You know, so we get into all that. Little Duck. Hey, Grand Rising. Good to see you, Little Duck. Welcome. Harry, welcome to the show. Kanisha. I think it is, or Ken something, some random guy, good to have you with us, everyone coming in here, have you heard anything else about the crash, no, I haven't heard anything else about the crash since that happened, uh, I'm hoping I'm shy, we'll have more information as she gets, she's in, uh, she has top security clearance in her area, but she's getting new, uh, higher clearance, and hopefully <coughs> we'll get more information about the crash. Or Marant, or I think it's uh, Mila Norman. You have some old uh, no info flying disc. Tell us more. Nomadic, thank you for the gift. We appreciate that. And that reminds me, we appreciate all the gifts on our show and all the work that we're doing here on a regular basis uh, through this social media. We ask people if you have TikTok coins, uh, and if you do and you're holding on to them, please. Uh, you know, send us some gifts. It can be any gift you want in your gift list that TikTok has on your on your list, on your app. And we appreciate those gifts. They really do help. Gearhead, welcome to the show. Also, as you watch this show and feel comfortable, uh, please go to my Venmo on Commander Alley on 2022. And that's uh, on the main part here. Just press the little circular thing and you'll get to my app. And you can just uh, go to my link for Venmo. You can make any donations you want on there today. So we really appreciate If you have Venmo, use it. Uh, it's a good app. That's my cash app. And that's up here. You just have to press the little button. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the gifts, everybody. Send, thank you for the roses. Uh, Daily Vibe with my soul tribe. Uh, Mario, good to have you with us, brother. Everybody coming in here. So we'd like to hear your stories. One of the things I would say is that we're now going into a lot of things with disclosure, uh, a lot in the United States and I'm sure other countries and the people of those countries are probably wondering what their governments are going to do in terms of openness, disclosure, and telling people the truth, right? I'm going to show you a picture. This is a picture (coughs) of what I call Sananda. This picture was taken in actual photo in the 1940s of Sananda. 
So here's a picture of Sananda, a photographer in the 40s in Yucatan, uh, in Mexico, took a picture of him. He just appeared in the jungle <coughs> near some pyramids, and uh, he took a picture of it. <coughs> Excuse me. He took a picture of it, and so this would be Sananda. And then uh, Sananda disappeared. He appeared for a bit and then just dis disappeared for whatever reason near the pyramids in the jungle. So this is an actual black and white photo. I laminated it. Um, and that would be Sananda. Sananda, for those who, do, who don't know who Sananda is, he oversees the galactic forces off planet. So the galactic forces of the, what we call the Ashtar Command. I'm going to show you another picture. This is Commander Ashtar. This is from a, a picture from the cover of the book Tuella wrote about Ashtar. Okay. He is in charge of the galactic fleets in this sector of the universe. So he's in charge of the galactic fleets and Sananda off planet oversees everything. Okay. Sananda and then Commander Ashtar. Okay. And Commander Ashtar, I have a picture here I can show you. I don't have it. But there is a picture of Athena. Athena is a space woman who is married to Ashtar. Yes, they do have people that are married to each other off planet. They do have people that are together with each other. And we'll get into that a little bit because a lot of people say, you know, do these space people have families? Are they married to each other? Well, we consider marriage. I don't know what they call it on other planets. But that's a good topic for encounters. You know? Sananda, I'll bring it back to you. Sananda is actually Christ. Off planet, he is known as Sananda. He's also known as Christ. But he's Sananda is a Christ consciousness. On Earth, Jesus is really Sananda. It could be confusing, but not to confuse anybody. Sananda and Jesus Christ are the same. They're the same. I'll bring the picture up closer. This is a beautiful photo that was taken in the 40s when he appeared in the Yucatan uh, peninsula in Mexico and this photographer got a picture of him it's a beautiful picture so yeah Sananda and Christ are the same being just known on earth we know we know the Sananda as Jesus but Jesus the Christ is a Christed being it's one and the same So for people that have been integrated or programmed into earth-based religions, the earth-based religions have it all wrong. They don't know this level of understanding because they're, they're brainwashed into a concept of reality that shows you Jesus on a cross, thorns in his head, all that stuff. Again, those are all concepts. Those are all drawings and concepts of what Jesus looked like in the Middle East. There was no photos of Jesus. Those are all paintings. Great question, Ryan. A lot of that, what you see of Jesus in books and all that, is all based on artist renditions of what he looks like. This is a photo of him taken in Mexico in the 1940s. Okay. So people's conceptions... Just like every human being, he came here in a form that people would understand. Sananda. Off planet, Sananda see, oversees every galactic force of light. So when you take religion out of it and all the garbage from religion about Jesus, they've got it so backwards it's not even funny. All right? So I'm here to bust the matrix. That's what I do. I bust people's conceptions about everything, including 
who Jesus is. And if you come from a deep religious background, whoever you might be, I'm going to shake you up so much that your concepts of Jesus having himself on a cross with thorns in his head is going to be going out of your head, going out of your mind, going out of your concept of reality. Because that's not who Jesus is. That's the earth religious concept of who Jesus is. But it's not the truth. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think the image we have today of Christ is Leonardo da Vinci's lover. No, Bosco sticks. We're not going to be getting into that. And I am going to not prove to you that. Not happening. The commander is in control here as host of the show. And we took that person out, sent them out to outer space. They're gone. That's what we do here. Thank you, uh, Marinay. That person's out of here. They can go on to a TikTok that's debating flat earth. It's not here on, on encounters. So when we think about Jesus, I got a few other pictures I'm going to show you. And this here is a re this is a reproduction of an actual photograph taken on June 5th, 1961 in the Chinchin Anitsa Yucatan, 1961 by Dr. Steinbeck, one of the 30 archaeologists working in the area at the time. Here's another picture. This is a reproduction of the actual photograph, reproduction of the photograph. See, I have a lot of information here. So when the skeptics and the Religious people come in here. I have the tools to totally blow their mind. That's what I'm here to do. Blow people's minds from Earth-based 3D reality. And if you keep looking at that picture of Sananda, how can you not feel pure love, you know? Pure love. Now, where Sananda comes from, don't be confused. This is just more information. This is the actual photograph taken in uh, June 1st of 1961 is when they took the photo. Okay? And this is a reproduction of the actual photograph. So it is, you're seeing the same picture. This is just a better picture. Same picture, not to confuse you. This picture here is just giving us, giving you more information, although the words are backwards because I'm showing you on the screen. Just so you know the reference point, and I do have that. June 1st, 1961. Same picture. Same picture. See, I like to have my information. You know? And I have some other pictures here. Let me see here. Can I show you? This is a picture that's real. This is, whether people believe it or not, this is not a painting. The vibrational patterns, this is a picture of another person that came from outer space. Barring the religious con connotations, this particular being also came to Earth from outer space. So we're going to give you a cosmic interpretation of this person. Religious people are going to go crazy because I'm going to bust the matrix on this. Okay? So what you're seeing here is what people on Earth called the Mother Mary. But in fact, this being came from off-planet. Just like the Christ or Sananda. So now you're getting a whole new experience from me regarding these two individuals. Throw the Bibles out the window and all the religious 3D garbage out the window because I'm showing you stuff that is real. Reality. Cosmic reality. I had no idea what I was going to do this morning here in the space room. But this is where we're going, so we're going here. I 
Uh, I'm not going to be careful. Why should I be careful? I've never been careful. If I were to be careful, then I wouldn't be doing anything. I came here not to be careful. I came to Earth to bust the matrix, to bust people's belief systems and religion and everything else on this planet. So I don't, I don't want to be careful. I do appreciate it for monster, the monster. No need for me. I've never been careful, you know. Uh, from the days our group went to find these stone chambers in New York, we had 20 people, and we were trying to get to the stone chamber because we heard that it would take us into another dimension. And we were going to go through this chamber, but we never found it. So I've done some crazy cosmic things in my life. I can tell people so many great stories, you know, so I'm never going to be careful. The day I'm careful is the day I stop doing what I'm doing. You know, I just thought of Mona Lisa painted by Da Vinci. Similarly, looks like Jesus wondering. Hmm. Adios. Good morning. Blessing to you, Adios. Killa Kelsey. Good morning. Everybody coming in here. You know, show us some love. Show us some likes. You know, let's amp up the likes here. Please tap on those buttons. Share, share, share. And if you can, uh, please make a donation to my Venmo account which is on the top of the screen. Just press the button there where you see the round blue. It'll take you to a link for the Vemno, and you can just donate anything you want this morning. I'll leave that up to the individuals that have been blessed. If you want to do uh, gifting, uh, gifts are always really a beautiful thing on my shows. So if you gift anything, it could be uh, pizza, teddy bears, uh, you know, it could be hearts, it could be galaxies, you know, a few galaxies, whatever, please do that. Uh, thank you, Chesno. Let, yeah, definitely we want to let people know that. Tan Sam, thank you for the roses. We appreciate it. The roses are always beautiful gifts, and we appreciate that. Every gift is beautiful. Whatever you can afford to gift. And uh, Killa Kelsey, thank you for the heart. And so I have a lot of things here. I'm in the meditation room right now, and uh, we're just showing you some photos or pictures. I've got some more things to show you. And if you give me a moment, I think I've got most of them here. I'm going to show you a picture. This is a picture in the space room. This uh, is a little bit of reflection from one of my crystals, I think. But you can see this. Oh, it's a reflection of the camera. This is a Palladian space. This is a painting. This is a painting here. But this is a Palladian spaceship uh, rend rendered by an artist many years ago. And uh, it's a beautiful painting. I have another painting of a Palladian spaceship that I'm going to show you. That's okay, Daly. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I hope you do well. I hope things uh, get back to where they should be for you. And I hope uh, the universe provides you with as much abundance daily as possible. So we appreciate everything. Just your being here. Uh, Adios, does the... What glow... What does... What the, what would glow, glow orange? I can't, uh, can't even speak this morning. So I'm going to show you another... Another picture or painting. Okay, that didn't, that wasn't supposed to happen. And this is another painting of a Palladian spaceship in the Pleiades. Oh, the ship? Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it glows, no. We're going to definitely have some people on our show. I might just choose you out of the blue moon, folks. So, I'm going to go into choosing people. Adios Snow says, yo, yo, I actually saw one at night up close. Adios, we're going to have you on the show. Adios is going to be my first guest. I've just chosen Adios to come on here. 
if he and we're honored to have Adius on our show. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hello? Can you turn your camera on? How do I do that? Okay. If you look at the your thing, you have like a little microphone and there's a little icon that looks like a camera. And all you do is press the camera and save it and it'll turn you back on to the screen. Your your, your video screen will come. There you go. I help I help everybody go on screens here. So welcome. Good morning. And you, can you tell us what part of the earth you're from, where you are, what part of the country or wherever you are? Oh, turn your mic on. You just turn your mic off. I'm actually yeah. originally from Rhode Island. And oh, I great. thought it was cool that, that you're from Connecticut. Yeah, oh yeah. We have a few people on here from Connecticut and Massachusetts and all that. So hey, it's pretty cool. I feel like Atlantis was kind of off the coast over there. That's what I feel. Am I mm -hmm. wrong? Uh, Atlantis, uh, there's stuff here. During the creation of Connecticut, a lot of mm -hmm. the rock formations, there's a place in Connecticut called Dinosaur Park, another town. Yeah, well, I've me. been there. I used to love yeah. going there and molding the feet when I was a little boy. Yeah, so that Dinosaur Park tells you that during the reformation of the planet and the structures of the earth and the rocks, this, this state actually had a lot of ancient stuff that happened with the dinosaurs. And that was a key thing for me going there, looking at that, uh, not being an archaeologist, but looking at the history of that tells me what else happened here. What else do we oh, not wow. know, you know? Yeah, right. So about Atlantis, um, there's a lot of different theories about where that is. Um, I think a lot of it has to do, it could be, you know, I don't know if it's in the Atlantic, but I really don't know where that is. I used to think I did, hmm. but I'll tell people I honestly don't know. I think yeah, still yeah. trying to figure that out. Yeah, know? I just kind of... I, I feel like it. I don't know. There's something about that area of the world. I, I don't know. I'm drawn to. I was just dreaming about it five minutes ago. I was just there yeah. talking to some people, and I was like, "Hey, you're gonna come down south uh, and visit us." And I made friends yeah. in a dream like ten minutes ago. <laughs> I was sleeping. Yeah. Well, you know, you know. I don't know if you do C5 where you are, but I, I'm telling people on my show download Stephen Gurr's app. It's called C5. It's on Google. If you have mm -hmm. Android, it's on Apple. If you have an iPhone and it's like $10, oh. so it's a one time thing. It'll give you okay. all the tools you need as an individual to have mm -hmm. that contact. It really will. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, so well, I'm glad you have me on. Um, yeah. When I was seven, I saw a really good UFO. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday because it was so good. And I've always been really interested in it ever since I've yeah. seen that when I was a little boy. So, um, and I I felt like it was a good energy, like if it it was off planet. Um, I always wondered, was it, you know, people in there from our planet with reverse en engineering? But I don't know I went running right out. My mom was like, "Oh, you're gonna get abducted!" Because I mean, a, <laughs> we heard it coming over. It sounded like a big vacuum in, really? in Rhode wow. Island, in Coventry, Rhode Island. Uh, Coventry, there's this I know what big that is. Yeah. behind my house. Um, there was a big Cardi uh, on, well, was, they have a, they call it Cardi Corporation, and they're still digging in there to this day. There's this yeah. huge, they ripped all the earth apart there. It was behind my house, and I remember being in my house, and it, it came over. We could hear it, so I went running yeah. outside. It sounded like a big vacuum, and it was yeah. a big it was, you know, not far above my house at all. I mean, it was just hovering yeah. and it was a big yellow blob, like a big, and it was bright like the sun. And yeah. I was looking at it and like two seconds late, like, like a point one of a second, it was yeah. 10 miles up like, wow. like that. And then it broke into three, just like my fingers, like, and yeah. it was three different colors. Wow. And it sat there for like 15 minutes. And all my neighbors were outside on uh, New London Turnpike. Yeah. And, and, um, and we were all watching it for about 15 minutes. And it wasn't a helicopter. It Like, nothing. I, I knew it was yeah. something special because nothing ever. I've never seen anything sit there for 15 minutes completely still. And then I, we got the binoculars out, I remember. Yeah. And we zoomed in. And they were like little things coming off the lights. Like huh. kind of like, wow! Like little, little objects coming off the bigger lights. 
Yeah, like that's all I remember. I mean, I was still seven, that's but I still remember it pretty good, as you could tell. And I've always been like, like I seen a really good UFO. So you know, people who've seen a ghost, they right. they love to do ghost researching. And I've always been really, I'm, I'm like, there's there's something behind all this. And, and I what feel year, like what year was that? You remember what year that was? Well, I was seven. I'm 42 now, so I was born in 81. So we're talking 88. 88. Now. Um, it's very interesting when I listen to stories from everybody, I get things. So yeah. what, what is, at one point it was hovering over your house, correct? Yeah. It came right now over my house. A, now you're just a kid. I mean, you're not thinking, mm -hmm. well, how do I make contact with them? How do I talk to them? You know? Yeah, I wasn't. No, I you feel like they might've been but, visiting me personally though. I think they were. Um, they actually were visiting you. Yeah. yeah they were visiting I think you. it might, I feel like maybe I'm Pleiadian and they were visiting me. Saying hi. Well, uh, I I get information. The one thing I I'm a contactee from the '60s. I'm also yeah. telepathic. I if you've watched my show before, you know. Oh, I watch I've your show people. all the time. Yeah, I so know. You know that I've had I've told people you know things about themselves, and mm -hmm. so I'm going to give you some information. If you yeah, give me please a do. I've actually, been waiting to talk to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on information for you. Yeah, please do. Feel free. The ship, the ship that came over you. Which mm -hmm. is very advanced. Number one, it was like yeah. a like looked like a sun almost, right? Like a bright, mm -hmm. bright, bright sun. Um, mm -hmm. The beings inside the craft were very, very highly advanced, very spiritual. Um, you were, uh, and how old were you? I was seven. So it was nineteen eighty-eight. I seven. was seven. Seven years old. So they were there to kind of remind you, I'm hmm. getting, they wanted to remind you that you weren't from here. Yeah. You know, you, you are born here. Like I tell people, we are star seated. We come from yeah. other places. We have, we choose our parents. Sometimes we don't, but the parents you mm -hmm. chose, you chose, but mm -hmm. you were not of, even though you're in human form, which we all are, you are not from here. Let me get a okay. get a sense of where they are from. I'm getting their planet where they come from is somewhat tropical. Oh, cool. uh, I'm not sure where in the universe it is, but it's a very tropical, beautiful tropical planet. And I'm getting it, images it, of what it looks like. So where mm -hmm. you come from originally is this planet where they come from happens to be extremely tropical a very balanced world, so to speak. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm here to, to protect animals. I, I connect with animals. I can talk to them mm -hmm. telepathically. And so I talk mm -hmm. to them. They, they all love me. They just come running yeah. over to me. Um, yeah. You're from this planet. I love, this I love planet. being out. Like, yes. I live, I always got to live, you know, up tucked in the woods. <laughs> yes. You I, are, I, you are this planet you're from is mm -hmm. very beautiful there's uh i see uh streams uh i see uh waterfalls in my images of the planet i'm projecting oh, i'm awesome. getting projected images it has a very bluish atmosphere like earth mm -hmm. um it has mountains and uh, i'm not seeing the people but i'm seeing i'm being shown a projector of the planet and oh, wow. uh so yeah you're i from moved this to the planet. mountains i moved yeah. to the mountains in north carolina <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Yeah, you 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 can have contact with them again. I'm getting my contact is saying mm -hmm. if he wants to have contact with them again, all he has to do is project and meditate and focus on the color of that a uh, craft, the orange yellow look sun liking uh, craft. If you do that, yep. say oh, it's I right in my you. brain. It's in your brain mm -hmm. because it's supposed to be. The reason why they left the image in your brain all these mm -hmm. years so you would remember who they were, and you can reconnect with them. Oh, but you wow. have to meditate. You, all you have to do is, do you know how to do telepathy or use your brain for telepathic communications? Um, I'm very psychic, like, I, but I don't train or anything. I just, okay. I don't know. I've yeah. never, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't try to meditate or anything. I have, like, crazy dreams. I have sleep apnea right now. I actually have to go to the mm -hmm. doctor and, like, 10 minutes so um yeah. well, well i have to get off thing them. before you leave i yeah. want to give you a, a i'll come uh, back on though you, i'd love to come back on and yeah. talk to you i, I want to um, give you a um a uh, not a lesson i want to give you an assignment 
Zord. So my assignment for you is to, mm -hmm. when you have a chance, either tonight or whatever, or sometime yeah. in your day, meditate. And telepathy mm -hmm. is basically not talking like verbally. You're talking mm -hmm. in consciousness. And in your consciousness, that's how they hear you. So you're going to talk to them in your consciousness and say, I wish to connect with you, those space people that were here when I was seven years old. I wish okay. to communicate with you. Um, and I also put a protection of the Christ around me because you want to also protect yourself so no cosmic jokers come back and say, we are the ones. Yeah, always. Want oh, to OK. Yeah, I've heard of that before. I, yes, I, I, um, that. I talk to a lot of spiritual people who are like real deal and, and, and they always say, yeah, make sure you protect yourself. Oh, um, always. And, and yeah, that's just, for you, just for you, because I don't want anything. You know, I would use the say, word the Jesus. One. Should should I be using his actual yeah, name you, that you were just you using? Say in the name you can say, and and when we say in the name in of the name Jesus, of Christ. we're talking in the, in the Christ, the name of Christ, which is the cosmic, from our cosmic mm -hmm. perspective, in the name of the cosmic Christ. Uh, yeah. Only I wish to communicate with the beings on that orb, that ship that appeared when I was seven mm -hmm. years old. I am now open and ready for contact, and you can start communicated with them telepathically and by doing that uh and then you can also say if you're not those beings you're not able you're not allowed to come into my consciousness okay and talk to me. And i so got you, it you, 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 you set the perimeters for that communications which is really crucial um yep. so i i'm really you know i'm just blown away by that story because i'm just imagining yeah. that ship above your house they, they oh. if you had been ready and at seven years old knew what to do you could have asked them uh that you oh, could wow. have communicated with them then they were ready oh, yeah. for you to communicate with I've them i've been wait I, there's a part of me that's just been waiting to uh, yeah. like i i just know there's something you know uh, there's something missing where i need yeah. to connect with them <laughs> oh yeah they uh, I, i've been they waiting for them to come back I, my, I don't know. It's just, oh. I just, it's something yeah, I just know. Thing. Like I'm talking about. Like I'm just psychic. I just, I can't. I right. they are coming, and I can't wait. And like, right. like right now, um, I have sleep apnea, so I've been having crazy dreams every night, mm -hmm. which is kind of fun in a way. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, my body is getting affected by it. Um, mm -hmm. okay. But I mean, I yeah. have dreams of flying ships, things with crazy mm -hmm. sideways propellers coming out of the water, and. You yeah. know, um, well, your your mind, your conscious is fully awakened. You're seeing things in your dream, yeah. Yeah, in the dream state that are a reality and truth. Oh yeah, now, I, yeah. You're just uh, you're just bubbling inside with all this ability that. Oh you're yeah. In the dream state, you have a lot of abilities that are had been latent that are yeah. actually uh, real. And um, one of the things I was going to say is that. Um, when they come back and you can ask, ask them to visit you, like I said, mm -hmm. this is the parameters that are set for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Once you do that, I want, you know, take time doing it. It's like meditating. You'll have to focus on it and really be disciplined yeah. in what you're going to do here because that's the way they'll be able to communicate with you and they will respond to you. I'm getting, I have not seen the images of what they look like, these space people from this planet. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I get that they can be translucent. They can also be solid in form. They look just like us, but mm -hmm. they are so advanced spiritually that they can take, uh, they can uh, cloak themselves, their bodies, or they can decloak themselves in their bodies and be right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. They absolutely can do that. So yeah, they feel like they're a very protecting energy and, yes. and like, like I'm going to the doctor right now and, and like somewhere I'm like, I feel like I should just wait and talk to them and they could fix me better. <laughs> it yeah. sounds crazy, but <laughs> nothing's crazy around here, not on this show. But yeah. uh, I think it's a beautiful thing. Your story was meant to be heard because there is this connection you have with them. And the fact that you never forgot what that ship looked like uh, mm -hmm. in Rhode Island above your house is because mm. you were never supposed to forget. They didn't want you to forget. That image was okay. ingrained in your consciousness. Okay. You know? Yeah. So hopefully, uh, I'm hopefully giving you some new information that you didn't have. Yeah. That's what I do. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely. It's cool to to know about the, uh, 
the planet like that that I'm from that makes sense because I'm very drawn to the woods and the just nature in general yeah. and um like animals like it's like mm -hmm. I, I'm like I, I'm like Steve Irwin I know everything about every animal mm -hmm. and um I'm like an encyclopedia like ask me something about it, I'll tell you the answer yeah. and and th that's they're drawn what, to me babies that's animals galactic. yes yeah mm -hmm. that's your your galactic your coming here is because you came from a world where nature was honored where all of yeah. god's creation was mm -hmm. honored on that planet and the right. planet itself does not have has well there are advanced cities not like on earth there are mm -hmm. some cities but most more than that all the structures that people live in are built around the planet within the nature of the planet of the habitat so everything is in synergy with everything else. There's no yeah, it's kind of like Avatar big or, something or like. big malls or you know things like on Earth. Everything yeah. is honored and respected. So you come from a world where that is actually the way it works. So you brought that knowledge with oh, you. Wow. That's why you're you're a person that loves nature and loves the and you know the water mm -hmm. and loves the the, yep. the light. Oh yeah, itself. water big time. Yeah, I have yeah, a lot of dreams about water. I have yes. a lot of dreams about water. One night I was in Atlantis. I was on the Golden Road. Uh, leading yes. up to the pyramid or whatnot, there it was a ve it was made out of gold. The road I was walking mm -hmm. down it, and it was beautiful, like cobblestones, but they were gold. Mm -hmm. it, it was amazing, and it was like yeah, all futuristic. Yeah. But I woke up and I was like, I was just in Atlantis. Like that was definitely yeah. Atlantis. Like that was crazy. You, like uh, what? I was a past life experience or whatnot. Was, yeah. Well, you definitely. Coming from this other planet, you you know everyone has multiple past life experiences, whether they realize it or not. Even mm -hmm. if they come from another planet, when they're yeah. here, they've had yeah. other experiences. So mm -hmm. you you know things about Atlantis because you were there, mm -hmm. you were there, and you remember every single detail of your experience with Atlantis. So uh, you weren't from Atlantis, but you were able to travel there at the time period yeah. of Atlantis. Yeah. You actually mm -hmm. came from this other planet physically to Atlantis and you yeah. interacted with the Atlanteans. You huh. did. Wow. That's Do you cool. feel that to your, you must have some feeling of that because yeah. you know so much about Atlantis. Mm -hmm. You remember certain yeah. things about Atlantis. Yeah, like the water the dream. It's a reality. Yeah. I'm drawn to the water. I have a lot of dreams about water. A lot, a lot of, um, you know, structures that are in the water, bridges and buildings and stuff that are just, you know intertwined with the water like i'm like where is this <laughs> i wake up like it's got to be atlantis because yeah and i keep having yeah. dreams and i they were they had flying stuff there then too because yeah um i like one specific dream i looked over and it looked kind of like a helicopter where the side of it was open and it mm -hmm. came right up out of the water and there was a guy that looked like shredder from the ninja turtles sitting there with like a <laughs> staff or something <laughs> Hmm. And he, and I looked over at him. I must have been on another ship right next to him, flying next to him, because I looked over and I saw that, and it came out of the water. Um, that was just one image I got. Uh, but mm -hmm. I mean, like, I should, I need to keep a journal, especially, you know, while I'm having the sleep apnea, because it just, I start snoring at three o'clock in the morning, and it wakes me up, but it puts me right in that that what is That's it, beta safe. state or whatnot, yeah, yeah. Or that you know, where Margaret, in Margaret between. Saying, the in uh, between saying, one, of our, one of our people on one of the viewers why do yeah. you think we left our home planet if it's not earth i'm very into atlantis and the egyptians and uh, okay very interesting well i'm not sure uh, are you talking Mar margaret uh to my guest adius uh or yeah. you're asking in general why we left our home planet well i can tell you why we left our home planets because i came from mars the reason why we left our home planets was to come here help. I feel like I'm here to help. Earth. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, that in general would um, be my answer. I definitely love to come on again. Um, definitely yeah, friend will, me back. Yeah, definitely. I have I'll to run to tonight. the doctor. Yeah, I'll but, be on uh, tonight it, after eleven o'clock. It was super awesome. I love your energy. I love your show. It's 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 the best one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, the only so, thing so, on TikTok so, or just about anywhere like this, and it's somewhere we can yeah. connect. You know, and I believe me, I've been on YouTube. I've seen the YouTube UFO shows. 
You mm-hmm. know, they have all their big mics and everything set up. Um, yeah. But I don't need the big mics. If I'm doing a good show, um, mm-hmm. it's a good show because of the person that's doing it. Um, yeah. So I appreciate it. And oh, what makes it good is people like you, Adios, who come on here. Because yeah. we're talking with Very. people that are having real encounters. You know, yeah. I tell people disclosure is us. We're waiting for the Department of Defense mm-hmm. to disclose things. We're the ones here. All of you here are disclosure. You're mm-hmm. empowered to be disclosure. When you have a sighting, oh, yeah. like the one when you were seven, that's disclosure. Mm-hmm. That's real information. It's not yeah. something in a vault somewhere in the in the basement of the DOD. No, you are reality. Every one yeah. of you are. Everything you, you talk know? about is reality. Everything he's talking about is what's really going on, folks. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's the real deal. He's really the commander. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know, I, I think I said. When I, I commander. The only the word the word commander on Earth has a military inclination to it. Mm-hmm. The word yeah, commander yeah, yeah. is that I'm in command of my own cosmic spirit. Uh, mm-hmm. The space people are in command of their own cosmic spirit on Earth. Many people, when they wake up, will realize they're in command of their own spirit of their own cosmic spirit. You know, I'm here to bust the matrix. So I'm going to challenge those people. If then once in a while, when those people come in here, I'm going to shake them up on purpose. You know, yeah. and the reason why I want to shake them up is to break them out of that matrix of control. Be it be religion, politics, these people that go on earth thinking I have to sort this candidate, that candidate. I want people yeah. to realize that the whole it's structure you. on earth of politics, religion is all uh, a fake thing. It's mm-hmm. all not real. It's all part of control. It's to keep you down. To keep, and to mm-hmm. keep you conflicting with each other. One oh, yeah. It's like the flat earth away, BS. Yeah. yeah, all that stuff. It, when we take it all yeah, away like, and, and we look at our planet and we look at ourselves as Earthians mm-hmm. instead of I'm um, this one, I'm um, this, I'm um, that. No, you're not. You're an Earthian. If I take you off planet right now, if I took billions of people on a huge <laughs> ship off planet to look back yeah. at the Earth, they wouldn't see any countries. They would only see one planet. They yeah. wouldn't see a country. They wouldn't see right. conflict. They see, oh, it's oh all this BS. is planet Earth. Yeah. Yeah, they just, We're living on it's planet so funny. Earth. You know, it was so great talking a, to you. I, yeah, you I have too, so man. much more you to too. talk to you about. Um, I got to yeah, run will. now. Definitely will. Um, I got a medical thing going on right now, but definitely um, I'm going to do my homework and try to connect with them. And I'll let yeah, you know how I make do. out with that. It was it was I'm great to talk to you, you about too. that. Excited that's for that's you. obviously been on the tip of my brain for my whole life. So it's awesome to talk I to that. you. I know you, you have a um, great connection with everything. So it's awesome that you to link up with you, brother. Well, take and, your uh, brother and have a good trip, and uh, oh well, all will be well. We'll be on at eleven tonight, so we'll yeah. be going on a late night show, which is our normal show. But I'm doing some morning shows here. All right, all right, take care. Have, have a great day, guys. We'll see you. All <laughs> right, and that was Adios. And a few my show, uh, we're going to be on here till ten fifteen, and we'd love to have more people come and share. Please, uh, thank you for the uh, bear, Amy. Uh, the, the bear, uh, we love that. Uh, take time to become a subscriber. If you're there, we have 33 of 100 subscribers. You can subscribe to my show and uh, subscribe to my TikTok. We certainly love that. Um, also, uh, please send gifts. We'll take time as we're doing the show. If you can send gifts during the show, whether it's a, uh, be it a satellite or whether it's the galaxy or the whale that I hear the splashing noise of the whale. If you have enough TikTok coins, uh, please send some gifts now. If you like the things we're doing, the people we're interviewing, uh, this is a real UFO spiritual talk show. And uh, I care about everybody that is a guest here. Uh, I have great moderators. We don't allow for any garbage on here. Uh, I do radio for 20 years. I'm still doing it. And uh, I took my concept of radio, put it here on TikTok because I didn't see anything, even on YouTube where people do these pre-taped uh, things that are UFO shows, uh, you know, with the suits and ties on, you know, uh, I don't get it. But uh, here we're just real. We keep it real, cosmically real, spiritually real. And you're the ones who make it real by sharing your stories. Um, so we welcome everybody here. Uh, thank you, Daly. We appreciate that. Eddie Ray, thank you for the smiling uh, heart. Um, thank you, Billy Adams. We appreciate that. Uh, I see, uh, Kehochu the Great. We're gonna bring up, oh, we're gonna bring Kehochu. And if you can bring 
Uh, David Ross, we're going to bring you on here. My second guest. We have another guest on the show. So if you need help with the camera, uh, we will definitely help you there. They, hey, they are. David yeah, I'm Ross. on. Good to have you with us. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And where are you located? On How are you doing? Uh, South Florida. Oh, great. Florida is a really big place for a lot of stuff going on. So, yeah. Welcome oh, yeah, to the most show, definitely. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So we want to hear your story now. We'll just go right into it. Yes. All right. Well, it's it, well, I was this is right after Hurricane Andrew and this was in um, South Miami, like Homestead area. Well, it tore up our house. So we had to move to uh, South Miami after hmm. Hurricane Andrew. Um, when we moved in the house, there was there was no curtains, no blinds like they took the people who previously owned the house, took everything with them, it seemed like. Right. So as a kid going yeah. into the house, you're like, oh, my God, nothing's covering the windows. What about, you know, when I go to sleep? Well, sure enough, like two days later, this being just shows up at my window. And <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, this is this is uh, the gratification I got after this was just something spectacular, too, because as a kid seeing it going to tell your parents hey this thing's out my window and they ain't believing you you know hey i'm gonna whoop your butt if you don't get to bed and then you look up and then <laughs> boom you see the thing too you know that that was the situation and to describe kind of how he looked um very humanoid no uh, no little green men type deal his his head was a little bit like swollen his eyes were bigger and yeah. the the perfect um example of uh, of uh who he looked like was uh the first steve from married with children yeah the, yeah not the second one that they brought on the new the one, one. It, yeah. it was the first one yeah he looked exactly yeah. like him but with uh expanded features like bigger eyes and bigger and and the one thing he was see-through like a ghost really? and i seen right through him yep he was yep. translucent translucent and i tried to ask it questions i at first i was scared i went and i told right when i seen it i, I you know you're trying to hide your eyes and all that and uh, i left my sister in there i went and told and they said you know what if you keep stalling you're gonna get your butt whooped so as i'm walking back to the room i could tell you there was no doors no curtains so as i'm walking back he's there and i'm staring at him as i'm walking up i'm like ha it's either a, a butt whooping that way or you know you just be right. scared so yeah so my, my mom's butt whoopings were nothing to play with so um there was it involved switches so um my aunt i finally say i i sit up i'm gonna go back a little bit i sit up and i i say all right stop being scared ask a question so i sit up and i'm right. like what's your name you know, why are you here? And I was eight years old at the time. And mm -hmm. I was just trying to figure out what it was. And um, something off, something made me feel different though. Like I was scared at first when I went to lay down, I started getting this like curiosity. And yeah. um, for a kid to have that type of curiosity, I don't know if it was telepathically making me feel comfortable, but he did not say or whatever it was. And it looked like a male did not say a single word and he had clothes what? on too yeah okay. I, I mean i could describe them to it yeah what was, what, what was he wearing this space for this is encounters the morning edition of our ufo spiritual talk show and what was he actually wearing um what he was wearing was a collared shirt like a it looked like a collared shirt well in my head i was a kid i probably tried to you know make it relative to whatever i knew at the time but it, it was yeah. like a collared type thing and it went down and it had like all these diamond shaped things all over the shirt and the 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 biggest um example i can give you as far as that goes is like the 1960s when they would play golf like those okay. those pullover like uh vest type you know with the diamonds different right. colors and stuff yeah um that's it, it seemed to be regular clothes but the features hmm. itself I mean, the eyes were big, beautiful eyes. Still I mean, you could yeah. beautiful eyes. And um, from what I, from what I've, you know, researched, I cannot find a similar story. Um, yeah. I, I just, I can't. And 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 the thing that kind of corresponds with it is for 13 years, every single night since I could remember, probably about three years old, I had a, I had a dream of being 
just put in a spot right under a spaceship, huge. I mean, this thing had to be at least in diameter, five miles that way, five miles this way. Wow. With the loud trumpet noises and it kind of like a dark and dreary night, you know, like kind of like overcast and purple skies mm -hmm. and stuff. And it's just, you could feel it just vibrating everything, the ground, everything shaking. And that's all the dream was for 13 years is me looking up as it's like kind of like going like that yeah. and you could see it like cover the whole city of miami wow you know yep. someone's saying here uh amy says the guest was a taken person i think what they're saying is i know i'm getting some information too as you tell your story uh i i do believe that you don't remember it but you were actually um invited without them speaking to you okay taken on a big ship Yes. Do you feel that? Do you remember anything that, about that? Yeah, and I mean, I I don't have any. I'm not gonna like you know try to dress it up, say oh yeah I do and stuff because right. no, it's no. kind of like blank. I'm like trying to like like why did I have the dreams and or why? But I feel um, that something is missing. And one thing mm -hmm. that kind of ties it to it was, and I know this is kind of like going off subject, but um, it has to. Uh, it has to do with like spirituality and kind of like the form that he came to see me in was kind of like ghost like well it was my my mom was getting abused by my father at the time and she was getting pushed in a bathtub uh yeah pregnant with what i thought was my sister at the time and me and me watching my mom goes he never put we were divorced at that time i was pregnant with you so i watched myself in my mother's stomach get pushed into the bathtub wow. so i don't know if it was like a here's your life you pick it you know do you want this in your life and i picked the hard way so i think right. it has something to do with extraterrestrials reincarnation something sp yeah, spiritual does. and something that I, I can't even fathom it's just I, I well you came you came here as like i use the word star seed uh we don't sometimes well, choose our families uh we come here on mission and when we come here uh oh don't do the smoking thing on here because they the okay. TikTok is they'll get me you know uh, oh, they're but, finicky. Uh, yeah they're, they, they'll knock me right off um okay no problem but, uh, you didn't know that um but then now you do so but anyway um so you know we're we're you know we come to parents whether they're hard parents or whether they're different all parents are different um and so you're, you came in to bring light into a world. And even though you came to a family, you mentioned a little bit about what, what happened in your internal family. You were the one with, who was the light that came in there to change things. You really are. Uh, and okay. I'm sure you realize that now. But, uh, you know, you're here on a mission yourself. Everyone does have a mission. So when I'm thinking about you being taken on that five-mile long ship, and it's funny that you mentioned it's five miles long. So on some reality, the missing part that you don't remember is the okay. part where you were taken on board that ship. That's the part you don't remember. That's the other big, that's the biggest part of your puzzle that you don't remember. Yeah. And I'm going to help you here know how to remember it if you like. Okay. 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 So for you to remember that puzzle, the part that's blanked out, you know, that space being, they come a very, very, very advanced civilization. They could be translucent. If they want to do, they can also be not translucent, okay. just to let you know. That's how advanced they are. They, okay. Their vibrational patterns are a less densified body. Um, if you want to remember that part of it, go back. If you, the, much, the stuff you do remember about the ship, about okay. the being, again, as I said in my last guest, and this is part of what I teach people in my workshops, if you want to reconnect with that being, the translucent male, they do probably have a name. I don't know what it is. You will be able to do that through meditation. Do you meditate a little bit? Uh, no, but I mean, you're kind of hitting on where my mind's been thinking lately. I, I've been, that's where it's been. Like I need to contact whoever that is or try to yeah. have some type of contact. Cause I, I, it's like, I have someone unanswered, you know, yes. uh, question. The unanswered the unanswered is that space being. Is the unanswered, that, yep. that space being was was monitoring you and seeing how you would interact initially when that happened. Okay. Uh, so here's part of my assignment for you, and I want right. to see down the road when you, when you come back what answers you get. Part of the thing okay. is 
since you don't meditate, uh, learn how to do some meditation, meaning if you have like an Alexa app or something, find meditation music, you can use okay. that, something you feel comfortable with. The thing is to clear your consciousness out of all the things of your day in order to do this. So okay. you have to pick a day or time each day and make this a regular occurrence where you're going to meditate, focus on the translucent being, and focus on the fact that also focus on that spaceship that okay. has a lot to do with it too, the five mile spaceship, whether it be okay. in Miami, that could have been just an image of where it, it, you know, just for your comfort, there's something you can reference to, but that yes. five mile ship could have been all the way up in space. And they're just referencing Miami because this is where, you know, where you are. Yeah, I was at, at that Miami. current time. Right. But that's not necessarily where it was. As a matter of fact, that ship that's five miles long was out of the earth's atmosphere just to let you know, but okay. you thought it would be Miami because that's where you're in your consciousness. That makes sense. Okay. So when you meditate, when you learn to meditate, you're going to ask for uh, the cosmic Christ to protect you in your meditation. That's very important always to be disciplined. And as you do that and ask for the cosmic Christ to do that with you, you're going to also ask that the being, the translucent being reconnect. So that's where like talking okay. here, have verbally with each other. You're going to, in your meditation state, you're going to talk to that space being telepathically. Telepathically is only without words. So if I'm quiet, I'm sending a message to you now. That's okay. without me speaking. See? Okay. So you're going to do it without speaking, but you'll be speaking conscious to conscious okay. communication with that okay. translucent being. I, All right. And it might take some time, but because you don't have not forgotten that story, there's a reason why you don't forget stories, especially those that are the cosmic stories because you have a connection with them. I don't okay. know where they're from. I just know that they're extremely highly advanced uh, to be translucent and be able to do that. I also believe in my understanding that that being can come and go as they wish. If you wish to meet them when you feel safe and confident, they can physically come right into your room. Okay. That's yeah, how advanced they are. Um, I was going to say for the longest time, um, for – since I was like smart and not, you know, not being a kid anymore, able to really, you know, be adults about it and kind of know what I was dealing with. Um, it it kind of brings me to, um, I feel like, like, like you said, like he was sent, there's a purpose. Um, there's something that I have to learn and that's where my mind has been lately. And I've been, I'm, I'm willing to take on meditation and, um, do yeah. that. Just, you know, things in my life right now need, need the meditation, you know, anyway. So, um, yeah. I need that clear mind and it, I believe that it's, that this can come at a good time in my life to where it was all pre-planned, pre-planned, you know, this is, this is meant to be. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm on the right path though. I definitely you do. Are. And everything you use just the correct wording. Uh, this is encounters the morning edition of our UFO spiritual talk show. And, uh, we are talking about what our guest, uh, their things that happen when the space being. So yeah, okay. this is the right time. This is <clears throat> everything happens in our life for a reason. At your time in this adult life and human life, this is your time to now make that connection. It's just the right time. Your consciousness is ready for it. You are ready for it. You know you're ready for it. I already know that. I mean, just talking to yeah, you. Yeah, I feel it. Uh, yep. You, you can feel. And that's the yep. thing. When you feel you're ready, that's the time when that will happen. So the Especially with everything is, going on in the world like it is, too. It kind of like, yeah. it, it's like it brings you to like this primordial being of yourself. Um, Just kind of like, you, you don't like. It's like the music. You see the nonsense and certain music you used to listen to, right. that, the maturity, you know. Once the maturity really starts hitting you, your mind gets opened up to places that you never thought it would ever yeah. be as far as maturity goes. Well, you have a cosmic consciousness within you, and now you can go inside yourself, work with the cosmic consciousness instead of the 3D world, uh, yep. which is we all have a 3D brain, but we can control that. And you can actually go into that cosmic reality through the meditation, that's where you're going to make contact. I keep getting, you know, that being is waiting for you to contact them. Okay. And it's not just one. That was a male being, but there are many, many space people within that grouping from where they come from. Okay. So they're waiting to meet you. You were taken on board a ship, and that's the part that's been blocked out for whatever reason. I, sometimes you don't know why they block you out from remembering that. 
Maybe okay. they, it would be too much of a memory where you wouldn't want to stay on Earth. <laughs> In some cases, that's the reason why. Yep. But so focus on that part of it. And um, I have a feeling uh, some great things. Uh, you'll learn some great things. And, of course, I also believe once you're ready uh, within your higher self, which we all have, you'll be able to connect with them on a point where you'll be able to go on their ship as well at some point. <laughs> That would be cool. I mean, it, yeah, because I'm always um, I, I came to a point in my life where, you know, I'm, I'm willing to learn, you know, accept when I'm wrong and, uh, you know, try new things as far as meditation and other things that can calm me down and uh, open my mind up. So um, thank you for that, because uh, it, it really uh, gave me some clarity on what's been going on. So I'm, you know, that's what I'm here to do. I do this unconditionally and I'm here to help everybody on the planet. That's my mission. Uh, and so if I've helped you a little bit here, you know, um, I can only give you what I know, what I read. If I don't know the answer, I'm not going to make up a story and, and be fluffy and channel something. I don't channel. So because I come from Mars, my, my ability to do things, I'm fully awakened. I'm like a cosmic book. And sometimes I, I just look at what I say and I say, I can't believe I said that because I know mm -hmm. it's coming from a level of awakening that I've had since I was a child. Uh, when I said I came from Mars as a kid, my friends weren't happy at all. They were very upset with me. And I just blurted out, I'm from Mars, you know, and whatever a kid says, preteen. Yeah. And that was when things started happening, when I realized, you know, things were going to never be the same, you know, for me on nope. Earth. You know? No, because you're not so, going to think the same or anything like that right. from that That's point. Right. Yep. And now, you know, when, since I came out of the closet coming from Mars, I really don't care what people think on social media. Because that's where I come from, you know. Oh, I'm yeah. proud of where I come from. So, yeah, you know, talking the only to way. an Earth human, but I'm also a Martian uh, and also in that cosmic Christ consciousness. So I thank you for being here, man. You're welcome to come on, you know, anytime you ha have any new information about yourself. Okay. Uh, you know, I also think you can make contact using the C5 app. Use the download the app and use that app and the protocol. You'll actually... Uh, ask you can ask for that specific grouping of beings to come back. Okay, all right. Yeah, that sounds cool. good. And, I, and I'll and I'll do that and actually let you know, you know, uh, what happened. You know, yeah. so uh, most definitely. Yeah, no problem. So take care, my friend. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you talking to me. Oh, we we appreciate it too. It's David, right? Yes, yes. I remembered your name. I took memory training years ago. So there you go, <laughs> David. Hey, thanks for being with us. Be All right, well, thank man. you for having me. All right, have okay, a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. And then Ross in Florida. And I want to just say uh, something about channeling. <clears throat> you know, I am not into channeling. I'll tell you why. I'm not, you know, pinning the hammer over channelers. But the reason why I'm not into channeling, because too many people on Facebook, um, once the Internet came about, Everybody was channeling Ashtar, for example. <clears throat> and in fact, Ashtar doesn't channel through anybody except he communicates with my dear friend uh, Ashtar Athena. Before there was any internet, she uh, has always been in touch. And Tuella, who's no longer here, she was a direct uh, communicator. So um, when you're telepathic, that's different than channeling. I just don't want to get too much into it. So be just be aware when you hear people channeling fluffy things on Facebook or wherever it is or on YouTube, take it with a grain of salt because I'll tell you right now, if you want to make contact and learn about your cosmic self or share your stories about where you've come from, go within yourself. Trust yourself. When you go within yourself, connect with your higher self and you will find out about your cosmic self, you know? That's the important thing. Don't get all hyped up with all these channels all over the Internet, on YouTube, and they have AI voices with pretty people speaking. And we're here to tell you about who we are. And now things look really good. No, that's not where the answers come from. The answers come from in here. You're not just humans. You're galactic beings of light. If you remember who you are, you'll remember who and where you come from. Okay, that's the most important thing one can do. So it's getting, it's 10.05, we'll be here till 10.15.
Uh, Tara Williams, Wilson. Uh, Tara, we're going to bring you on. And you have a new story to share. Well, you're going to be my uh, one of my guests here before we sign out of here before 1030. So, Tara, you can come on now. And uh, you have over 200 people. Evidently, with TikTok, you can have over 200 people, at least the uh, audio. I can come back tonight. Okay. Okay, tonight. We'll be on tonight at 11 o'clock on our late night show. And we'd love to have you on with us. <clears throat> if anybody else would like to share a story with us, uh, I'll take one more person on our show. If you have 200 plus people, evidently, I just I just saw the guest thing show up on Tara's thing. So I guess if you have over 200 old school, we'll bring you on as our our last guest here. Old school, you have to take your setting off of private. So go into your settings and take it off of private because I can't bring you on until you do that. You have your setting on private. So go into your settings. And then we can do that. You're going to have to go on your TikTok settings and, and change that. Let me see here. Okay. For whatever reason... It's not working. Yeah, Amy, uh, if you come on tonight, Amy, on my late night show, uh, we definitely would like to have you on. That'll be tonight after 11 p.m. We'll be on with the late night show, perhaps tonight as well, yes. So, all right, folks, we're going to sign off for now. Uh, for those that wish to come on tonight, I uh, will be on at 11 o'clock p.m. on Encounters, the late night show. And I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, and old school, if you get that figured out, also you can come on tonight as well. Everybody have a great day. The last thing I want to do is please go to my Venmo. Go to where it says Commander Allian. Venmo me. Uh, you can do $5, 10 or $15. That would be great. If you want to gift us right now, let's do some last-minute gifting. Uh, uh, from TikTok gifting on the TikTok coins. So all those people have TikTok coins sitting there. Um, if you want to gift the show, uh, please do so right now before we go. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much for the hand heart. I still haven't seen any galaxies this morning, which is kind of weird. So Deanna, thank you for the bear. All the gifts are beautiful. The bears, you know, everything out there. So it's... Uh, we're going to let people do gifting towards the end of the show. That's part of our tradition on Encounters. Now it's gifting time. Okay? Now it's gifting time. Game Vet, thank you for the lightning. We appreciate that too. Old School, good to have you back with us. Old School, we're going to be, we'll have you on tonight. We'll have you on tonight. So if you can be on tonight on my late night show on Encounters, we start at 11 o'clock, sometimes 10.30. So we'll get you on first tonight on our show. And we can continue with some gifting for another five minutes or maybe less than that. Okay. Uh, thank you for the bolts of lightning. We appreciate everything. Uh, Eastern time. It's Eastern time. Our show is on Eastern. So when I say gifting, I'm talking about TikTok gifting for people that know TikTok. They have, everyone has it. If you have TikTok coins, you can send a gift like people do over the screen. That's what we mean by gifting. So if you want to send a gift, please do. I'm looking for one galaxy for the day, for today. So if anyone has enough to send a galaxy through the screen, those beautiful galaxies, we'd appreciate it. Maybe a boat. I know they have all kinds of crazy stuff. So Eddie, thank you for the roses. Thank you for the blue, the blue being. Thank you for that. Uh, we appreciate it. So we're going to say, Amy, thanks for the bear. Eddie, thanks for the roses. UFO, thank you for the cat paws. Uh, thank you, Lisa Bailey, for the J. You know, we love all you people out there. We love everybody, all the brothers and sisters that watch this show. 
And we'll be on to, tonight, late night. I'm going to get out of here. This has been Commander Alian in the space room with you today. And have a blessed day, everybody. Be well and keep your eyes to the skies. Take care.